I am going home from work, going home from the hospital. Long day, coronavirus protocols changing constantly. Now, no visitors except in um, palliative hospice care units and um, I think acute care and ICUs really sad just because if I had a loved one in the hospital <laughs> I would not want to be restricted from seeing them but that's just what reality is right now sorry I'm kind of out of breath because my car we had to park super far just because of all the screening today was a long long 12 hour shift I'm trying to go home and see Max take a shower and get all this nastiness off me. Mama needs coffee. Like, stat. Stat, stat. Max wants me to sleep with him in his crib. Because I can fit. Also, I'm like 4'10", so I can fit in his, um, in his crib. Well, he wants me to sleep with him every night until he falls asleep. Which is like a really bad habit that we're creating and it just started happening in the past I mean I used to do it sometimes but now he's like waking up in the middle of the night and screaming mama mama because I've already gone to the room I've already left and he's looking for me so you know I can't help it but to come back with him and lay down with him or else he'll have this full blown out tantrum at four o'clock in the morning so that's what's been happening lately, and that's actually what happened last night. So I was too tired to go back to his crib, so he came and slept with me in bed. Which I didn't have to worry about him waking up anymore. But I should also tell you guys this, that Max has been in his bed. He's always been in his own bed um, since he was a baby. The only time he ever actually slept next to me was when he was first born and he was in a bassinet. But I've always been so gung-ho about him sleeping in his own bed. It's not because I didn't want to sleep with him because of course I did, but I just didn't want to pick up that habit and not know how to get him out of the bed when he got older. So now he's always wanting me to sleep with him in his bed because I can fit. And I have that habit to break. Although he's sleeping in his own bed constantly. He doesn't even know really what it's like to sleep in my bed. Except for maybe last night and another night. <sighs> so. I get broken sleeps. Which makes me really tired for work. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Raise your hand if you know what this is. I know. I can't focus on it, but. So I'm Filipino. And I'm making some corned beef. This is like the ultimate Filipino breakfast. And I love this onion and tomato and garlic mixture with some vinegar. It might sound weird to some of you guys, but this is our version of like, um, Pico de Gallo. Yes, and it's so good with anything you eat, especially fish and rice. Yes. Mama's going to eat good today. Of workers stay home besides essential services.
That's what Italy wound up doing. Uh, and we're at 50% now. But I would never shut down food, transportation, essential services. New revenue forecast, as you know, worst case scenario, seven billion dollar hit the state is facing. Will that require a cut in spending, as you had initially proposed in the budget? Will this mean less spending for schools? All right, guys. I'm gonna go inside and cook dinner. Oh, I gotta work tomorrow again. Uh, hopefully tomorrow's a better day for work and the world, I should say. Alright, wash your hands. Bye!